بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويؤثرون على أنفسهم ولو كان بهم خصاصة صدق الله العظيم One of the great deeds through which a person gets close to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala is actually not even to do with Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala is to, be, to do with the creation and it is serving the creation of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala خير الناس من ينفع الناس رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said the best of you is the one who is most beneficial to the creation. And we know the very famous hadith where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned on one side there was a woman who went into Jahannam not because she missed her salah or she was bad to even humans but because she was bad to a cat. An animal who doesn't, you can't even complain etc. But because she was bad to this cat she went into the fire of Jahannam. On the other side a prostitute who spent her years in doing some of the worst kind of sin. Once she saw a thirsty dog and she went into the well and she took out water for this dog. She fed the dog a little bit of water and upon this Allah Ta'ala forgave her and allowed her to change her life. So like this is this is just serving creation of Allah Ta'ala that can't even speak to us, complain to us. Imagine serving the creation of Allah who can actually tell us that they need our help. And that is the people around us, poor people, the orphans, widows, all these kind of different people, the people that are dispossessed, uh, displaced, etc. These kind of people, we help them, Allah Ta'ala. Uh, will definitely reward us and Allah also will also help us. In hadith of Muslim Rasulullah said, Wallahu fi awni al-abd ma kan al-abdu fi awni akhi. Allah is constantly in the help and the assistance of his servant as long as he is helping his brother. As long as that person is helping their brother, Allah Taala is constantly helping that person, making their life easy because they're making someone's life easy. Man yassara, um, uh, yassara Allahu alayhi yawm al-qiyamah. Whoever makes something easy for a person, Allah will make something easy for him on the day of judgment. On that day where Everything will be difficult and person will be turned away by his own parents, etc. On that day, Allah will put ease on you because you made something easy for a person in this world. So we have to see how we can become people who are helping others uh, constantly and always looking for opportunities to help other people. Umar who is famous regarding him, that he would go out around Mecca, uh, Medina to Munawar at night. And he would go and help other people and see what needs they had. The famous story once he went and he seen a fire being lit from outskirts of Medina. And he went there to see what was happening. And seen that a mother and her two children. The children are crying and the mother is boiling something on the pot. So he asked what's happening. So the mother said that uh, actually I'm only boiling water because I actually don't have any food for the children. And I'm hoping that they'll wait for the food wait and then in that wait they'll fall asleep. Out of tiredness and hunger they'll fall asleep. Umar said what about all your well uh, food etc. She said no I, we don't have any. My husband passed away or something. And she said that I'm going to complain to the Amir al the leader of the believers tomorrow. Umar said, no wait, let me just go get something for you. He went personally, he had his servant with him, but he went and he went to the Baytul Mal and he took uh, food and all these kind of things. He took money as well and he carried it himself. He didn't let the servant carry it. He carried it all the way again to the outskirts of Medina and he went and cooked the meal for him, for her, made sure the kids were eating and whilst they were eating, he went outside to sit just to watch the, the, the scene of the kids eating and now they're happy. And the woman, she even said to him that, that, I will, I will give your name in front of the Amirul Mu'mini, so if you can tell me your name. He said, when you go to the Amirul Mu'mini, you will find me there, as if he'll be sitting there. When she went the next day, she seen that he himself was the leader of the believers, the Amirul Mu'mini. So this is how he used to help the other people. And Allah, um, Rasulullah Sallallahu when he first got prophethood, and Khadija radiallahu ta'ala, he was so stressed, and he came back to the house, and Khadija radiallahu ta'ala, she, she comforted him, and she said all the qualities that she mentioned were about how he helps other people. That in Nakalatasidur Rahim, you join the ties, you take away burdens from people, you help neighbors, you help travelers, all these people that are in debt, you help them, you keep the trust of people. And even when Abu Bakr Siddiq was wanted to leave Makkah, he got fed up with the people, they weren't letting him pray salah, etc. Then Abu, uh, Abu Ibn Dhuni, he stopped him and he said to him the same qualities. He said the exact same one Khadija said about Rasulullah. He said this about Abu Bakr Siddiq. So we see that the people who are at the pinnacle, the height of Islam, were because of how they used to help other people. So we have to become people who are serving other people, look for opportunities. You see somebody is crossing the road, you try to help them. You see an old person uh, trying to do something, we try, we help them. I mean, obviously, we have to make sure uh, it's not going against Sharia, etc. And if somebody won't see it as bad or rude or something, we have to make sure that these qualities are inside of us. This is this will fast track us towards Allah wa Ta'ala. Rasulullah said in a hadith that sometimes a person with good qualities who helps many other people, etc., he reaches the level of the person who fasts by day and prays salah at night. So a person spends years fasting, a person spends years in tahajjud salah, etc. But that, and he, but he's a, he's got bad qualities, bad manners, etc. Not helping others, doesn't want to assist, becoming a burden on others. 
compared to that person, another person who just pays the fard salah, just fast Ramadan, but has good qualities, helps other people, that person is closer to Allah Taala and reaches higher levels. And Allah Taala praises even the the, um, the Sahaba Rizwan Allah in Majmain. Allah says about them, "You thiroon ala anfusi wa lokaan They uh, prefer others over themselves. They give their rights to others over themselves, even if they have strong hunger. They're dying of hunger, literally dying of, of starvation, but still they'll send the food to another person. And the quality, we've seen many stories of this. The Sahabi is passing away, and then just as he's about to pass away, he hears a cough from the other Sahabi. He says, give this water to the other companion. So like this, we have to see how we can become people giving our rights up, serving other people. And that way, brother, brotherhood will be increased. Love will be increased between another. Ibn Abbas, who he says, I can, I can fulfill the rights of three people. So a person does good, good something to me, I can um, do good back to them. A person helps me in need, I can help them. A person guides me in the way when I'm lost, I can help him. But the fourth person, I can never repay him. That's the person who went around looking, he had something, a need. He went looking, who can I ask for this need? He couldn't find anyone, he came to me, I helped him. That person, I can't repay. The fact that he came to me and said, I need your help, and no one else did, that person, I can't repay. So imagine, that's how they used to think. That when is somebody going to come and ask me that I need your help? We sometimes, we dodge. Oh, you know, this person needs something, I don't want to meet him in the masjid. I don't want to see him outside, he might ask me for this help. He needs this thing, but no, no, we should try to actively help people and become active members, inshallah. Allah gives a related act to what has been said.